Right, so guys, first of all, I'd like to say thanks to everyone that dropped by my 24 hour stream. We raised quite a bit of money for charity. Absolute legends to people that donated as well. Appreciate you. Cheers to you, absolute legends. Anyway, guys, today I'm going to be doing a predictions video, and the time I'm recording this is early into the transfer window, so I don't know many transfers um, currently, but anyway. Please drop a like, do not dislike, I know a lot of dislikes probably will come in. Uh, last year I got 400 dislikes uh, because I put Chelsea in the league and they won it. They won it. So respect my opinion, I'll respect yours. Put your um, opinion down in the description, your prediction, opinion, prediction, whatever you want to call it. Anyway guys, we're going to jump straight into it. I like my new layout, let's see it. Right so guys, jumping into 20th place, I put newly promoted Huddersfield. Um, this is because currently their signings haven't been the strongest. They've signed Tom Ince uh, for around 11 million and they've signed a Montpellier striker or someone. Never heard of his name, but for me, Huddersfield have got the weakest team in the Premier League currently. Um, bearing in mind that it is early in the transfer window, they could go and sign Hazard, who knows. Anyway, guys, jumping into 19th, I've got maybe a shock to some of you guys, but I put Watford. I feel as if Watford are. Uh, a bit dead, they've, they've just survived last year, only just. They've got a new manager, um, an ex hall manager, I can't remember his name, but I put Watford 19th anyway. Troy Deeney might have been to Leicester as well, and Troy Deeney is one of their best players, so yeah, they're 19th. Into 18th, I've got another, another newly promoted team, uh, Brighton. Uh, I put Brighton there because, again, I don't feel as if they've got the strongest of teams, but I, I think it was tough decision between Brighton and Burnley. I have a feeling Brighton may stay up, but I put Brighton 18th anyway, and I put Burnley in 17th. Burnley for me, um, unless they go and make us sign a few players, um, I think they've lost Keane, um, he's gone to Everton, so that's a big loss. They, he was one of their best players. So Burnley are in trouble, I'm not going to lie, Burnley are in trouble. Jumping into 16th, we've got another newly promoted team. These could easily finish higher in my opinion. Uh, Newcastle. Uh, I'm not too sure of what, what their transfers are looking like, but for me they've got a strong team. They've got, they obviously champions in the championship last, last year, but I think Newcastle are going to do well in the uh, Premier League. I think they could finish higher than 16th, but I have put them 16th. Anyway, jumping into the 15th. For me, 15 and above uh, was the hardest decision ever. I put Swansea currently. Um, Lorente has just picked up an injury and he could be out for the start of the season, which could cost them a lot. Um, but anyway, Swansea 15th, not much to say about Swansea, other than they're just a bit of a boring team. Now jumping into 14th, it might be a bit controversial this, uh, I put West Ham 14th, and this is because, again, they're not making the best of signings. They're after Olivier Giroud from Arsenal, but I don't think um, Arsenal are going to sell him. Um, but with West Ham, I don't know. With London Stadium as well, then they, they don't get the most of wins there, so I've, I've put West Ham 14th anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Jumping into 13th, again, might be a bit of a shock, but for me, Stoke finish roughly around there every season, so I've put Stoke 13th, a very good team, they could easily finish um, higher, they've still got the likes of Shaqiri, who scores, he scored an absolute banger like a month ago, and Altovic is unbelievable, he really is. Um, I'm not sure, too sure who they're after, I probably should have done a bit of research, but I put Stoke 13th, jumping into 12th I put Crystal Palace, for me Crystal Palace was sick, sick last year, and that was because of Sam Allardyce, credit to you Sam Allardyce, but he has left, um, I'm not sure, Crystal Palace, did they appoint De Boer, I think they did didn't they, um, De Boer as their new manager, I'm pretty sure, I don't know much too much about De Boer, I think he used to manage um, Ajax, I'm not too sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah, I think Crystal Palace will come 12th and they've got a very strong team and they could easily finish in the top 10, but I'll put them um, 12th. Jumping into number, uh, number 11th, jumping into 11th, we have put West Brom and again, these could easily finish higher. They, they had a good season last year, they finished 8th I believe, I think it was 8th. Um, they, they had one of the best defences in the league, they probably will this season again. They are the defending masterclass. Um, but with West Brom, they could be losing uh, Johnny Evans to Leicester again. Um, and he's an actual god. Johnny Evans is a machine. I don't care what you say. Anyway, jumping into number, te number 10. I'm getting used to this number, man. Jumping into 10th, we've put Southampton. Southampton, for some reason, and I can't... It, unless there's some type of like Southampton fan that can tell me this, or some, some person that knows. Why did they sack the manager? That He had a good season last year. Um, the manager. I'm not too sure. The I think it's called it's called Pellegrino. 
Let me go double check their manager. I think their new manager's called Pellegrino. Yeah, Pellegrino. I don't know too much about him, like. But, um, I've stuck them in 10th because they could potentially lose Van Dijk as well. Chelsea are after him. Um, Liverpool are after him. A few clubs are after him. So, if they do lose Van Dijk, that's a big loss. But, when does Southampton ever lose a... When does Southampton... Wait, I'm not going to wear this right. Southampton seem to lose players every single year. And no matter who it is, they're always a good club. Uh, imagine that their team if they kept all their players on. Unbelievable. Anyway, jumping into ninth. You're probably wondering, where's Bournemouth? Here they are, they're jumping in straight into ninth. I've put them in ninth because if you look at their signings this year, well, so far in this transfer window, for me, they've been making some sick, sick deals. They've brought in Jermaine Defoe, who's going to bang them in. Him and Josh King up top is scaring me, to be fair. Um, and they've signed Begovic, Begovic, decent, decent keeper. They've signed, um, who else did they just sign? Oh, Ake, Nathan Ake, who I rate highly at Chelsea. For some reason we sold him, I don't know why, but great signing for Bournemouth. And I wouldn't be surprised if Bournemouth bring in some, bring in some more talent. That's the word. Anyway guys, jumping into eight, another team that are making some good business this year, Leicester City. Um, to the back end of their last season, as soon as I sacked Ranieri, I didn't agree with it, but anyway, uh, they were racking in wins. And the way they played against Atletico Madrid, unbelievable. If they can play at that next season, with their new signings as well, they're bringing, a, they're bringing in a borer. They've just signed a borer today uh, from Sevilla. Um, who else have they signed? They've signed Maguire from Hull. Who, Maguire is a top defender, he actually is. Um, and they're after a few more players, that, like Johnny Evans, like I said. I think Leicester could potentially finish higher than 8th. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. But I've, I've put them in 8th and that's where they're going. Jumping into number 7. 7th. Um, I've put Everton. And again, Everton could finish higher than this. It's so hard. This top 10, this top 15 was so hard to pick. But I've put Everton 7th. They have literally spent... I think they've probably spent the most in the Premier League right now. When I'm recording this video, they've signed Pickford, which is a very good signing for 30 million in my opinion. They've signed Klassen. They've signed Klassen from Ajax, who's decent in the um, Dutch League, but I'm not sure if he's going to be good in the Premier League. Oh, that's it. They've signed uh, Michael Keane as well. I think they've spent around 90 to 100 million, you know, already. So they've made some good business and they've got a beast manager. Ronald Koeman is an absolute beast manager and I wouldn't be surprised if Everton do challenge for top four this season. But I've put them seventh and I'm kicking myself in the back a bit. But here we go. This is jumping into the six bad boys. Six bad boys here. These six are literally top notch. And currently when this video is out, uh, there's one club that have made a lot of deals. And yeah, anyway, jumping into sixth, I've got United. And at the minute... United are going to finish 6th. At the minute, in the transfer window right now, they're going to finish 6th because they've lost Ebra. Uh, they've got rid of Ebra. They've got absolutely no striker other than Rashford right now. Um, for, for me, their defence, they've got the best defence in the league for me. But last year, they couldn't score. Oh, they've signed Lindelof. They've signed Lindelof. And he's a defender. But they don't need a defender for me. Um, they need attackers. And I'll tell you something, if they find a, sign a few attackers, they will finish high, I'm telling you. But for me right now, they need attackers and that's not what they've got. They've got Rashford, um, who's decent for me. I think he's absolutely quality, to be fair, Rashford. But Martial's not good enough. Matt is decent. But, yeah, for me, they can't score enough, United. They cannot score enough to finish higher than sixth. And they've got Champions League as well. So, the legs are going to be knackered, man. Anyway, jumping into fifth, I've got Arsenal. I think Arsenal... Um, if they weren't in the Europa League, I think they would have finished high. They've just signed Lacazette today. All I can do is say, well done, Arsenal. You finally signed Lacazette. You've been linked with him every single year, and you finally si uh, signed him. So, if you weren't in the Europa League, you were finishing higher than that, man. But, yeah, Europa League's going to fuck Arsenal over. They are going to... Unless Arsene Wenger plays a, a shite B team out, Arsenal are finish finishing 5th or below, they could even finish 6th, I, I was in a bit of a sticky situation between Arsenal 6th or United 5th, but yeah, that's where I've put them, anyway, jumping into the top 4, so you should know the 4 teams there, so 4th I've put Spurs, Spurs have got to play at Wembley next year, and as you know, their stats aren't the best, and if they can keep Harry Kane and Deli Alley and Kyle Walker, because I know Kyle Walker, he's had a fallout with a boss or something, um, and if they can upgrade with their team, 
then I think they could maybe finish higher than fourth. But I think fourth's a good position for Spurs. Um, seeing as though that their record at Wembley is absolutely die shit uh, I've made my own world up. But what do you think of Tottenham? Shit. So that, that's why I use the word shit in there. Anyway, jumping into third. Um, by the way, guys, I am a Chelsea fan, just to let you know. So I've tried not to be biased. Um, anyway, jumping into third. I don't know why I said that. But jumping into third, I put Liverpool. Uh, for me, Jurgen Klopp, two more, two, two more years or so, maybe even next year, he's going to win the league. He's going to be challenging, but Liverpool are going to have a really good season this year. Um, they've signed Salah, and I think Salah's going to do amazing, by the way. Salah is going to be sick. They're close to getting uh, that Cater, who is unbelievable in the Bundesliga. He's literally like the B-Tech canter. But yeah, Liverpool are going to come third in my eyes. Um, they, they maybe need a defender um, and a Luis Suarez to win the league. And jumping into second, I hate to say this boys, but I've put Chelsea. And that's because we've made zero signings right now, but in the window, if we sign the signings we, we're linked with, we're winning the league. I don't care what anyone says, we're winning the league again. Uh, we're, we're linked with Alexandro and he's very close to signing. We've currently signed Willy, Willy Caballero, sick. Uh, and we've been linked with Rudiger, who's apparently having a medical today. Not sure why, but decent. Anyway, um, for me, we're coming second, and that leaves City to come first. I hate to say it, but it's Pep Guardiola's second year. It, that he had his first year, boom. He, he finished, like, where did he finish? Sec uh, third, I think it was. And Pep Guardiola is coming for us, man. If he signs Danny Alves as well, I'll tell you something, I'm scared. I'm actually scared of Man City's team. They're dead. He's actually scary, man. It's actually scary. So, guys, anyway, let me know what your predictions um, are in the comments. Um, this was such a hard... Premier League predictions, man, every single year is so hard to uh, predict. So, I know I'm going to get hit for this, but I'm up for discussions. I want some discussions in the comments. I'll try to reply to most of you guys. Um, I'm going to do a weekly series next year as well, guys. So... And it's going to be with you guys. So if you if you have a decent camera, so if you literally have like an iPhone or something, I'll get you on the series. Basically, every week, every Thursday, I'm going to predict the scores, and uh, we'll do like little prizes and stuff like that. But anyway, mate, let's try and smash 100 likes. Let's try and do it, guys. So if you haven't liked already, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I would appreciate that. And anyway, I'll catch you in the next one.